Leaves Vincent on the edge of the area. Ball a bit higher this time, but towards the edge of the area. He can head down, nods off the line, clears. Gordon, it's in! Johnny Gordon fires home for Hereford. Five minutes to go to a half time, and the Bulls have the lead. Great corner in again from Kuya on this near side. Just cleared away off the line. Came out nicely to Gordon. So he did everything he needed to do, didn't just get it on target and keep it low. Story on the left hand side, keeps the ball up towards the corner flag. First time ball in towards the box just before Torre drops down for Tomo and Evans cuts it well onto his left. It's off the post, it's in! Tomo and Evans! And it's, it's two and two from him. limp his way to get that one. <laughs> It's two and two for Hereford's number 10. 13 minutes left to go in the game. Hereford. McLean chasing down against his number seven counterpart and Dawson does well to flip him over onto the floor. McLean cuts it back. Time and Evans tracks the shot. He scored again. For the balls. And Tom Owen Evans makes it two on the night here. All credit to Ryan McLean there, didn't give up in the ball in the corner, didn't he? And uh, robs the ball, and to be fair, he's actually got his head up there and used his common sense and realised that Owen Evans had pulled back to wait for the cut back. And it's a good finish by Owen Evans on his left foot, he's weak. He gets past Senior, takes it into the middle of the park, drops for Gordon, and oh, what a goal! It's McLean and Gordon linking up together. And Janny Gordon, 14 minutes in, what a goal, what a breakaway. And that's what Brandon Hall works on, clearing that ball, distributing it down the right, played it to McLean, took it right into the centre, and Janny Gordon. Yeah, no high clearance there, it was a rifled clearance down the right hand side, McLean well on side took it, and then got it onto his left foot, I thought he let it overrun it, and he just let it run a little bit further, and he went to Gordon, who just put it inside the top.